Hi there, and welcome to the brand new version of Scrimba. Now, if you're used to the previous version of Scrimba, this probably looks quite unfamiliar to you right now. That is because, yes, we have rewritten and redesigned the entire thing from scratch. So it has a more professional and slick look than the previous version. The first thing I want you to notice as you start clicking around on the various options in the sidebar is how fast it is. We want this to feel as if you're working inside of a native app, not a web app. So we've spent a lot of time ensuring that there's essentially no lag as you navigate through the page. Now, as you can see, we have projects, we have templates, we have courses, everything you need in order to properly grow your coding skills. Though I would recommend you to not start with any of those, rather go directly to the topic you are most interested in. Here you can drill into, for example, JavaScript, React, AI, and so forth. Let's click into AI, as there you'll have a one-stop shop of all of the AI engineering courses, all of the bite-sized lessons, and a bunch of templates, which can serve as the starting point for your next cool project. Now, clicking into the courses, we have powerful filtering mechanisms here. Just click on the quick search and then type, for example, Gil, if you feel like watching AI courses by Gil today. There you can see we've highlighted the courses Gil is a part of. Perhaps you also only want the free courses. Well, then toggle that on as well. And there you go. Here are the free AI courses by Gil. Let's click into the learn embeddings and vector databases. And here you can see I've actually been watching a scrim here. We'll click into it. Okay, so what happened there? Well, actually, Gil was talking and giving us a challenge. And then when we hit the point in the timeline, when it was our turn to take over, this little ghost icon appeared, or it was there all along, but we jumped into it like that. And now we can write our code, we can change around, click around on the files and do whatever we want, essentially solving this challenge. And once we're done, we'll hit the submit button And then we're back to Gil. So that is the unique thing with Scrimba, this interactivity, which now is enhanced by these small challenge icons, which weren't there in the previous version. Now let's head out to the main interface again. Let's click on AI and the templates and see what happens if we open one of these templates. This takes us into the template picker. You see the template on the right-hand side and the other templates you can choose from on the left-hand side. So using the arrow keys, as you can see, it's super fast to scrub through these. And you even have the opportunity to jump into the template before choosing it. Change the file and, for example, change around a little bit on the styling here. Let's do a background color of red instead. And yeah. That did not look very well. Let's do white. Yes, that's better. And when we feel ready, we can hit start building or you can jump over to another template and play around with that. And once you're ready to start building with that one, hit the start building button and boom, then we are inside of this template ready to build a new project. Now, as you start building, let's change around on the code a little bit here. Let's do left aligned, let's do red, let's do the background of black, right like that. I'm completely messing up the project, but that's okay. Let's do 30 pixels and perhaps you want to change a little bit on the system prompt here. You are a funny cheese guy and maybe crank up the temperature. Now, what I want to show you here, the reason I'm doing all of these changes is because notice what's happened in the bottom left corner of our scrim. There, we've built up this little path, and that's essentially an opportunity for you to rewind back time in history. If I click on this and drag my cursor backwards, you'll see that I'm actually rewinding time back and forth super fast. So if you code yourself into a corner and know you want to get back into a previous state, that is super easy using this little feature, which is kind of like Git on steroids. Now, before I leave you, I want to mention that this app is the very first version of Scrimba V2. So there might be issues or bugs we haven't found yet. If you find a bug, just click on the report a bug button here. And there you'll be able to write a description and give it a category. And the neat thing about this is that these bug reports will appear 
in the UI itself here under the feedback tab. And there you can click into your bug reports and see the reply from the team at Scrimba. So this really tightens the loop between the product team here at Scrimba and yourself as a user. And we would really appreciate if you report all the issues and annoyances you come across as you start using Scrimba V2. So with that, I want to leave you with one more thing, which is be sure to check out whatever topics you are interested in, right click on them like this and follow. That also goes for teachers. So you can right click or hover over a teacher avatar like this, click follow, and then you'll see them appear in your following tab on the left hand side. So that way you build up kind of your own unique experience on Scrimba, highlighting the content you are most interested in. All right, there's a lot of other things, but I'll leave you at that. I hope you have a great experience with Scrimba and happy coding.